Oh, what's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Dead War Let's Play as the Kingdom of Portugal. And in this episode, we have a load of forces in the Middle East that are ready to deploy uh, against our enemy, Austria. Uh, however, we do need to clear up and destroy this fleet first. I thought my allies would come in to help me, but apparently they do not have the movement points. However, the enemy force is tiny compared to our absolutely destructively powerful force. Kind of went off on a bit of a tangent there, but you know what? Let's just roll with it. We've got plenty of good ships. This is just going to be a slaughter. An absolute slaughter. I'm probably going to take more damage than I'd like, but you know what? I'm okay with that. We just need to stomp them into the ground. We own the world. They cannot stop us. They don't, they're not even... We own the world. They're not even the most powerful country in Europe. That's still us. Our heavy firsts are up front, followed by our firsts, followed by our seconds, followed by the thirds. Straight at them for now. Close the distance, watch them try and cross the T, or we'll try and do that ourselves. Which may be going something like that. Um, I don't mind if some of them get to the other side of our convoy. We've got plenty of guns on both sides. If if there was a mechanic that made you have to pick between starboard and port and starboard batteries, that would be interesting, because the idea is that you don't have enough crewmen to do them all. But I suppose that would add almost too much um, micro to be getting on with. It might be the sort of thing that works with a individual ship on ship action but if you were doing fleet v fleet it could very easily become problematic managing broadsides can be challenging enough at least for me uh, in major fleet on fleet actions you set up your ships to fire broadsides and you inevitably uh, forget or something happens which makes it no longer useful yeah our chase guns are opening up try and chop them in half like this well not in half but you know split the formation and as is tradition i'm going to take a lot more damage than i'd like because i want to keep firing chain shot lots of these ships are smaller and much more nimble than our own So I would like the ability to knock them down a peg or two. Only with specific ships. Come on, there's someone in your way for now. Soon there will not be someone in your way. You can just push on forward. Ooh, 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 just sped through that one. Fifth rate, foremast blown off, main mast gone. It is staggering that you are still in action. But yeah, just storm straight on through. Foremast on the fourth rate, it's gone on Koenig. There we go. Atlantis. That's every single mast she's got. Just keep sailing on through. We don't care. We've got, we've got plenty of ships. First, heavy first rates will take a huge amount of damage as is anyway. The main mast has gone on Koenig. Just keep blasting masts off. It, that will deal with the problem one way or the other. Gentlemen. 
port side and loading. Very resilient war galley. There goes the foremost. That galleon trying to board us. Right, forward side, left. Go away. <laughs> uh oh, war galleon. Oh, I thought she was on fire for a minute there. Broadside into us. Surrendered on fire. Killed the enemy admiral. Where was he? No, he was on board our back. See, he must have been at the mainmast. No, that's been shot away. We've killed him. Exhaust the top of the mizzen. Let's dispatch a third rate to individually pursue Koenig to make sure it doesn't escape. Or it will off because you're on fire. As are you. See, so turn fire will off and they put the fire out. It's like watching all the masts come down, to be honest. That is my favourite thing. So you're no longer on fire. You still are. Heavy burst is on fire. I suppose with these smaller ships, it is. We are better off using round shot. These two. Loads of broadside right, because you'll soon be in a position to blast Hella. You're no longer on fire. Okay, may end up blasting chain shot just so the brig doesn't soak up all the fire. Independent ship operations. Okay, let's. Disconnect ships from the line, get some of them to scoot forward as fast as possible. The main mast of my OB's gone. Try and start to. I mean, you need to just gun it away from Bromi before the fire causes an explosion. Yes, they finally took one of our heavy rates from <laughs> being surrounded on all sides. Some of them can go this way at full sail. Pounding the war galleon. Is that enough of that? If 
and blast the mass down on Gepard. We're gonna shoot through our own. Oh, 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 get out of there! Get out of dodge! This may backfire on you, Austria. Yeah. <laughs> Hello's routing on fire. That heavy first is on fire. Boom. That heavy first wave may come back, but it may. There we go. Although you have no guns on your port side. That's interesting. Or the starboard side, they're all on your port side. Bithray surrendered. Okay, right, keep pivoting. Keep pivoting. See, if I didn't have overwhelming financial clout, this could have been, that could have been a problem. Border. Unsurprising you were going to route. Everyone get there in full sail. You want to sailing to try to get into range to board. You're on fire yourself. Slow down a minute. Let's give this first race of the line permission to fire on Gepard. Big old miss. She board the brig. What are you doing? Not a lot. You're gonna make this first straight ship of the line route. <laughs> so many, so much damage. Just I don't want to. So resorted, resorted, resorted to not firing round shot. Look at this brig. Staying straight on into our first great ship of the line. Captain, he's not even looking. No, not interested. I'm looking somewhere else entirely. You're going to be in a good position to engage Gepard with another broadside. He's round shot. I want to watch this though. I want to watch those guns shoot. The map. This misses across the board. The one guy with chain. Ball master's gun. In our ship with it, you can. There you go. goes the brig. Go, go dead slow. I do love shooting down masts. Yeah, maybe you better go down, fella. Bit of a target. Was that everyone? Yeah, it shouldn't have been close, but I don't care. <laughs> we lost our heavy rate, heavy first rate that blew up. Uh, that captured the entire enemy fleet, and we're not going to use any of it. 
Pronto para a ação. Only. Oh, yeah. The money to replace my losses. If only. I mean, only I had. Where's my good dockyard? Maybe I don't have one over here. Ah, dry dock. That's, that's an enemy. That's an enemy dry dock. Let's replace that heavy first with a third. That's going to be a good Swedish fleet. That'd be fun to shoot against them. But this was the real objective. We can send, we can deploy our forces against the Balkans. Demand the surrender of Athens. I mean, I'm not going to fight that. I'm just going to auto that. Get the repairs going. Good. Get embarked. Let's see if we can. Let's see if we can lure the the Venetians into a foolish attack. I'm wondering if I land here, will they will they decide that they don't actually want Oh no 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 you don't want to swap the garrison. If I do that, will I be able to lure them into charging into our front line? Blowing them to pieces. Nope, you don't want that. See, now this dry dock is ours. Let's get it prepared. Let's pick up Mr. Barayo. There we go. You're all picked up. We could have deployed them elsewhere, but you know, I just wanted to dump a load of troops in Athens. So you guys stay in here, because there is a, another Austrian fleet hanging about. You're almost in position to attack Istanbul. Iassi is ours. You're repairing. We've got good battles to fight over to the west, such as destroying Württemberg after our last action and capturing Munich. So let's destroy the Württembergs, uh, especially after what they did to us. Or what they, <laughs> or what we did to them, I should say. We did just gut an entire army, scattered it to the winds, and now their city is exposed. bit of coffee. Right. They do have a reinforcing column, but we don't care. They're gonna get... We can dismantle them properly. And then they're going to be... Oh, especially with three howitzers. Okay, let's set up sort of properly. Grenadier plus two line to go after one breach. Grenadier plus two line to go after another. Two infantry in a line to flank around the shoulder of the town. Or the fortification. Hold the cavalry central, centrally. Can you men get to work? Get one howitz unit to work on the center there we go thin out their own gun crews here comes the reinforcements but they these are some of the stragglers that have just been 
you know they've come back from a the attack on Strasbourg been obliterated and gone oh no our homeland is not safe we must defend it but uh, I'm afraid this will be the same result I'll let my all my artillery go to work create a breach I'm not going to worry about optimizing where to shoot my howitzers yet until I've got the breach. Although these are natural choices. You're the best to shoot at that. So I'm going to separate that howitzer unit out. Yep, just keep fast forwarding time till we make a hole. Oh god, quick climb. Oh god, they killed two, <laughs> nearly 200 men. Don't worry, here come your reinforcements. They're so plentiful and useful. Enemy general's bodyguards come in and they're going to try and defend the center. The enemy garrison, well, the enemy troops that are trying to defend the breach are just getting effectively obliterated by chemical weapons oh. <laughs> 10 men left 105 on that unit 90% okay that's good enough We could try and interdict their, re their line of supply, but I'm not going to worry about that. It won't be very long at all until the breach is made, and then we can start working on this one. There we go. Oh! Gunners, engage. One gunner left. He's like, well, something in. Rather like that general. He's a very attractive chap. <laughs> but thank goodness the general wasn't killed. Let's just make sure. No, oh, he's okay. <laughs> That's so silly. They scaled the wall. Oh no, they aren't. They're just running up there. You see. Okay, let's push these units up. Let's form a defensive box. So many men. <laughs> yeah, general's still alive. Thank goodness. Nineteen percent. I suppose because we haven't actually killed any units, they've not. They've not, they've not called in everything they potentially could have. Okay, let's set these men to scale the wall. Get my regulars to scale this section. Because I'd like to try and hold, hold here and shoot the reinforcements as they come up. It would be useful to try and destroy this bridge. Going to engage our infantry, so let's set one howitzer unit to keep engaging them, another howitzer unit to keep clearing out the center. Keep clearing out the breach, rather. Such a fine body of men. Oh no! The body of men! <laughs> it 
it's just you feel you feel so bad but at the same time it's just so damn perfect there we go look we're trying to scale they've decided the quickest route to stop us is to charge out of the gate out of the breach to stop us that's right come out Just like the general, the general, is going to dally. So these guys have done the same. They've also come to the conclusion that the breach is the best way to get in. We have to give them a, a new order to realise that actually... Engage those militia. Forty-seven percent on the on the breach. We have killed their general, sir. No, 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 no. You men go after. You might want to make all of these route. And then the breach will be clear just to push in. In the meantime, you fellows storm and kill the militia. What? Someone just teleported. You men get over here and shoot at the reinforcements as they come in. Break, damn it, break! To be honest, just send them in. But not all of them in. Keep one back. Send in the 20th Regiment to clear out the breach because there's literally no one there. Well, figuratively no one there. Woo! That's right. You men ignore my skirmishes. They're, they've done some weird pincer movements, that's why my ground ears are freaking out. Switch my howitzers to round shot. Just drop bombs in the center. Actually, just keep. Actually, start chipping away at this breach. Oh, the citizenry just got wiped out. need to kill these militia otherwise these guys won't ever fire they won't ever take their positions on the fire step and shoot at the reinforcements 87 hack down this one guy one guy seven guys there we go keep going Kill that one guy. We're starting to thin out the numbers. Keep attacking the second. X 
Excellent. Push these men around with blank. Yeah, there are pikemen in the breach now, so they could could cause a bit of a problem. Okay, you guys now get stuck in trying to kill the militia. Got him. I think you got him. Oh, mercenaries are heading our way. Are you men engaged? These men just... When you're in position, begin firing drills against the 15th. You men are getting into the command... Don't get in the command HQ. You're going to die if you do that. Everything looks fine to me. Okay, let's make the militia my skirmishes can deal with them. My grenadiers just get up here. Gun down the 15th regiment. And to be honest, you guys can instead just form a large firing line. Don't garrison any buildings, just go after them in good old style. Excellent. New men run off the walls. Charge across the bridge into the 8th Regiment. The armed citizenry are pushing in. Get new men on the centre. One of you can push these scallywags. The other, just get here, ready to block the enemy. Now it's a ceasefire. Yeah, you may form up and gun down the 15. Excellent. Secure the gate. Kill that one militiaman. Good. Okay, you men secure the gate. Get the grenadiers back. It looks like they want to climb. Just loading and firing and executing the 15th by the looks of it. I guess it's because these guys on top of the gatehouse aren't actually engaged. Because usually they break when there's like a critical mass of units are all under attack. So it feels like if there's one unit that's not under attack, they all kind of stick around a bit longer. This poor guy, he's like, I'm going to go get him. I'm going to go get him. Oh, nuts. Oh, 
And imagine that, you're relieving the fort and there's guys charging out of the fort to come and kill you. There's two, there's one armed citizenry left. Broken, broken. Yeah, they're all broken. Yeah, now you've joined them. Took a little longer than it should have done, but still, it's a victory nonetheless. And it's another enemy destroyed on the western front. The entire faction, all those armies have now disappeared. Let's get rid of Heidelberg University. That should go some way into making you guys chill out. Minus 11. If we get rid of that, we gain 14 and we'll gain 20, 16 for the upper classes. So yes, getting rid of the university will solve a lot of problems. I mean, what, sh what are you? 4, 3, 8. Well, you men push into Trieste. Oh, I think we must have destroyed the ship because it's gone. Curious. But let's hold just to make sure they don't. If we go for Zagreb, they might push north, push southwest, sorry, and cut flank around Venice, which would be super annoying. Um, let's attack Munich. Leopold Hat against Heberto Salazar. Our name is much cooler, so we are destined to win this one. But we we are just yeah Austria is being squeezed from all directions and hopefully my plan comes to fruition and Saxony is our last our last adversary and sort of like a, a bit of like smothering our child <laughs> because we created Saxony we we took them into the world we will be the ones to take them out of it. Okay, guns. Not greatly positioned. Maybe just stay wide. To be honest, I may well just go wide anyway. Fighting. Fighting in towns when you've got such a huge amount of firepower is uh, is kind of, in my opinion, self-defeating. I mean, my grenadiers and pikes will be here to deal with any combat on the periphery of the town, but... You've got so much firepower, why waste it fighting alley to alley? Especially when the enemy deploys in such a way that you can just take an overwhelming advantage on one flank and exploit it mercilessly. So I should probably focus my quick climb on their infantry rather than letting it waste letting them waste themselves on attacking enemy artillery units it looks like they are largely abandoning their front line get the artillery to shoot at something else I mean, those quick climb attacks were devastating. Saker's crews have just fled. They didn't even try to fight. Push my tribal auxiliary towards the light horse with my hussars behind. I hear a cavalry charge. The fifth horse guard. They've received gunfire to try and convince them. There you go, form square. I was hoping. You're right. Send my grenadiers and my pikemen into the maelstrom. There goes the enemy pipes. 
Big Lime is just smashing their formation. There's nothing they can do. I mean, by the looks of it, we're going to have them completely surrounded. Kill the Mord's crew, then go after the. the my, inter, my grenadiers have intercepted the cavalry. I let my pikes annihilate the, this gun crew, then they'll get involved. I mean, my quickline has just obliterated them before they've even had a chance to get into the action. Which is very, very much by design. There you go, the gun crews are going down. Cavalry's gone. This unit of grenadiers can push into push out to here and begin engaging the enemy. Yeah, musket fire. Fire will Look at that. They have just decided, no, we don't want to fight, we're done. Which is exactly what we want to, ha to happen, but it doesn't normally happen quite so conclusively. Superb. Charging a square formation, but that's okay. There we go. They broke. Yeah. Just the entire enemy force just gone. They really gave up Munich without much of a fight. Quick line was too devastating. Our firepower was all consuming. Good God. And another city, because it's a small German state, they are fairly grumpy. Fortify it, upgrade the body house, destroy the school, repair the industry building, human advance on the north side of the river. I think you guys are going to end up jumping on a Saxon city when the time comes. We do have to kill Savoy well, and Genoa as well. Can't forget about Genoa. When you're replenished, that'll be fine. Well, let's repair the seminary and repair the Iron Master's works. I want to see if they, if Venice, tries to attack me. And then we can just throw them into the sea. Just just absolutely gun them down. Let's send our agent on towards Belgrade. they got nothing in the Balkans. Nothing. I mean, strictly, we should probably jump on Istanbul. But I want to get the third army up. You're ready to push through the Carpathian Mountains. You're holding north of Vienna. Because once we've consolidated this position, we can drive east. But let's hit enter. More armies. That's exactly what we needed. More troops. Yeah, you can't just run around us. Ooh, do I want to intercept? A lot of artillery. Our cavalry's got some work to do. I think I, I've got to, just to intercept them. But that is a huge... That's devastating artillery. Let's do it. Our artillery is good. Because our artillery will be deployed, we might actually be able to kill some of their teams before they do deploy. But we very our cavalry will need to suicide charge uh, to knock out those guns. Because we can't hold against that sort of firepower for a long period of time. I mean, we may be able to, if they exclusively focus on my infantry and I exclusively focus on counter-battery. But, but my... 
Lord's Artillery are going to do counter battery. My line is going to focus on defensive fire only. And my howitzers are going to be quick climbing as much infantry as they possibly can. Although actually, no, they might be round-shotting off the bat as well. Sort of grew power fire onto... Look at that for a... That's a grand battery. Actually, to be honest, I think we have to... Have to advance. The reinforcements coming in from the right, so that's not ideal. The cavalry's coming, but that's fine. Okay, dial in the cavalry. If you guys don't charge us, we will charge you. Jump them. Colonial light, begin suicide ops. These units drive towards the flanks of the guns. If we can start to sweep them away, we're going to be on to a winner. Howitzers begin quick climbing the infantry blocks so they don't hold us up too long. If you can knock out this, you men can get ha. Okay, artillery, focus on the other side. Light cavalry. Marines. Form square. Excellent. One of our units is routing from enemy fire. Understandable, they are fusiliers and grenadier guards. Ignore the general. Get on to the next gun team. You men can knock out that cavalry unit soon. That'd be super duper. The general's bodyguard is going to knock out my skirmishes, but there's nothing I can do about that. My cavalry is struggling to kill their provincial cav. Excellent. You men form up. Push on to the next horse artillery team. You men go over here and kill that general. Form square. Marines. who knocked out another gun team. Another general's bodyguard coming in. Excellent. You men form up. Keep engaging enemy infantry. To go after this, the um, 7th Regiment and then our artillery. Put artillery can start engaging other enemy units. You men focus on trying to kill that general's bodyguard. Four oh, man. Okay, we can ignore the guns. They're going to get our light cab. We'll deal with them. Let's switch our artillery to engage the Lanvin militia. I think we're going to be okay. My mounted cap my cap so I say my mounted cavalry. 
Okay, my cavalry goth, the general's bodyguard, this infantry mob, the hussars. The grenadier guards are coming in. Okay, pull them back. Okay, let's consolidate our line. You men are going to kill each other if you're not careful. Okay, let's drop quick climb on the near threat. Put artillery engage the far threat. Grenadier guards, mercenaries, pikes, others. Make ready. Present fire. Obliterate the foot guards. There we go. Oh, how it's uh, switched around shot. Start to gradually limber up our units. Household cavalry smack that militia unit. Infantry, other infantry advance. Engage the first regiment of foot. Let's begin pushing our howitzer units forward. Okay, let's not forget that we do have enemy reinforcements coming in from two directions. Engage the fifth. Yeah, my, my regulars are hidden, which is pretty tasty. Actually, let's get all my artillery to focus on those Swiss pipes. I've still got one howitz unit free to engage. Technically free to engage, but not actually. Well, they're out of range for shrapnel for shot. Looks like they're more interested in going for my household cavalry. The Grenadier Guards ex exposed fire from the natives in the, in the trees. Who are hidden. Okay, advance. Actually, you're probably good right there. Household cavalry. Let's 
expose my irregulars. Those pikemen are also a threat. Shrapnel shot them. Get my cavalry into the action. In the centre. We wrapped around the enemy flank. Ooh, six pounder horse artillery. Smack them in the rear. It's all of them we want to get. The pikes have broken. Okay, start to quick climb some of the reinforcements coming up. Managed to shrapnel the Jesus out of those pikemen and protected the right flank. Re engage the enemy. Reform the line. Excellent. Lanvin Militia. Get my general over here because the horse artillery is on the move. Yeah, send the general up front. There's no cavalry back here to counter us. Pikes are shattered, so they're never coming back anyway. How about you? Picking off the militia at range. Guards, Jaeger, guards. Kill some of my staff officers. Excellent. Just book it back. You guys actually can shrapnel the line infantry. Give them the same treatment you gave the pikes. That will take care of them. Ah! No native musketmen. Don't push up too far. Although it looks like that is getting close to the end of the enemy force. Enemy forces uh, reinforcements. There, you go. there goes the 19th. They're going to be not long for this world. They're under considerable pressure from enemy from enemy our artillery. You smack the guards, you smack the guards. That's the end of their reinforcements. These guys are slow walking. The 
soon I'm gonna switch to shrapnel shot because I'll soon be within range. You'll take a little bit longer. Target our howitzers. There you go, excellent shots of the shrapnel. Good hit with a quick climb against the guards. I mean, there was, a, there was a spot in the middle where things were a bit dicey, but they haven't really been able to stop us. Oh, excellent quick climb hit there at the perfect. 30 second have opened up. Yeah, shattered. Retarget the remaining howitzers. Hey, make sure we hit the Jaeger. probably want to commit our what well, we will want to commit our cavalry when we are when the enemy force is in full retreat there's Jaegers and some guards infant guard infantry very worthwhile kills. Folks fire the guard infantry here. All my artillery pokes on the Jaeger. There we go. That should be everyone. Artillery ceasefire. Oh no, you don't. Not gonna kill any of my cavalrymen. Come on, one last guy. chase down the line but let's see if we can that line is probably going to escape but we just want to make sure we definitely kill these guys it's two units of guards and a unit of swiss jaeger just obliterated nice now everybody oh whoops I accidentally pressed withdraw um oh well either way they're fine. <laughs> They're fine. Back to you devils. What are you going to do? Now you're going to ruin one of my ports, eh? That's fair enough, I suppose. No trade, Sweden. You want to try anything? Feel free. But we will. Screw you up. Let's see if Venice fancies any. Let's see if they're foolish enough to attack. I, I knew it! I just know the AI, man. I knew they wouldn't, they could not resist. So we outnumber them significantly. So they've got, why? Uh, 9,300, we've got pff, nearly 14,000. I think this first army is going to be just fine. Because they're just going to, we might run out of ammunition more than anything. But either way, 
let's destroy the Venetian armies in the field. But looking at the time, I believe that's time for the next episode. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you around.